Kamala Harris does not have any children, and that means she has no ties to the future of this great nation. That means she is not qualified to be president because she will have no problem destroying this nation for her personal gains. At least that's what people are saying on Twitter. And if you look behind me, um, that's a photo of her two children. Now, they're not her biological children. They're her stepchildren, um, which puts her on par with people like George Washington. If you didn't know, George Washington didn't have any biological children, but he did help Martha Washington raise her two children from her previous marriage. Yeah, this is actually a big talking point by Republicans. It seems like not a smart thing to do, considering we are at, you know, Rovember, abortions on the ballot, IVF treatments on the ballot, and they're now deciding that they want to attack and insult people who don't have biological children. They want to attack parents who have stepchildren. This isn't the first time. This has happened increasingly in the last few years from Republicans, where they will go after people about being stepparents, as if it's a terrible thing. But remember, they're also the ones that are like, oh, we'll just put up your kid for adoption. But also, it's a terrible thing if you're a stepparent or you adopt kids. It's really weird. Um, how they don't want you to have children that aren't your biological children and take care of them, but simultaneously want to prevent things like IVF so you can't have kids. It's just, just a curious little thing you might notice going on. Now, that's not the only thing happening, um, because it's scandalously, if you didn't know, scandalously, um, Kamala Harris, she, um, she dated other people at some point. She might have even had sexual relations with them. Yeah. Some. Some she might not have married. And you might think, really? Is is that what Republicans are going to go with in this election? Well, it looks like it. There's a lot of them. A lot of them plan to do it. Some are trying to raise money for billboards about how... Think of all the men she might have slept with. Do you want a president who slept with men? Like... Please put that up as a billboard, please. There's been an attempt to make the hashtag Kamala Harris be a thing. <laughs> uh, I, I thought it should be its own video because I don't see this one disappearing. And it's really funny because so much during this election against Joe Biden... Republicans have said, we're not the party of the racist and the sexist. We're not like that. Well, now they're facing a black woman. And within 24 hours, guess what they're all doing? <laughs> Imagine in 2024 trying to argue that a woman who has stepchildren and helps raise them as somehow a bad thing. Imagine trying to say, yeah, they dated people that weren't their husband at some point. Yeah, that's, you know, society. That's reality. That's most people. It's crazy to me that this is this is going to be a talking point. And I, I know I already made my previous video of a list of talking points that people were bringing up on Twitter and I was making fun of them. And I don't know if people just don't watch the videos past like 10 seconds or what, and then comment and get real mad. But uh, you have to address how absurd it is, in my opinion. You can't just let them just be the only ones out there. People did that for a long time. For a long time, people did that. For a long time, people would see outrageous statements like, oh, she can't be president because she doesn't have biological kids. And people wouldn't respond. And dumb people, most bottom of the barrel, would keep repeating it and use that as a rallying cry. Call them out. Why not? Why not call out the, the, the hate, the misogyny, the racism, the misinformation? Take the high road? Why? Take the high road of just letting it letting it stew. A lot of people did that. 
in the uh, Republican primary in 2016. Didn't want to, you know, didn't want to go down to the level of Trump and actually correct everything he said. And they don't want to do that even when he was the nominee. It, Americans know better. But they didn't. A lot of them didn't. Some of them learned. Some of them learned. Eventually. Too late. 2020 rolls around and... You can see some Americans learned, but every election cycle, there are new people coming up. And a lot of younger people are influenced by people like Andrew Tate and far-right influencers on social media. That's their introduction to this nonsense. And a lot of this nonsense will not be tolerated supporting it on YouTube. YouTube, YouTube will remove you. I suspect that a lot of people don't even bother to put nonsense like this onto YouTube until it becomes hyper-mainstream as more of a safety measure. But you see, calling it out, correcting it, you can do that. You can do that on YouTube. And because you can do that on YouTube, I can make a video about their claim with a background of the inauguration in 2021, January 2021, uh, showing how stupid a statement it is. I can do that. I can do that before they feel safe enough to spread their misinformation on YouTube. Because they want to test it on Twitter. That's another thing. Twitter is a lot quicker feedback. So they can go and they can spew out new misinformation every 20 minutes so they can check the statistics that Elon provides them and then they can know what's going to be the best for them to put on their podcasts on YouTube and make their videos and what have you. This is an election year. And I don't think it is right to let claims like this that are so easily called out fester. And you might say, well, they're so easily called out, let them build up a little bit. What? They're not going to stop. People promoting it aren't going to stop. They're still going to do everything they're going to do. If they were going to put up a billboard, they were going to put up a billboard anyway. They're still going to do it. But there will be a video out there countering it, calling it out, laughing at it, the absurdity of it. And that'll exist. And I think, I, I think that's a net good. Now, as I said, it's been 24 hours. What else are they going to come up with? Plenty, I'm sure. Plenty. More. I'm not even gone into some of the more extreme racist and sexist and just oh, things they've said that aren't big yet. But they might be. And they might be a future video.